dispensers so that when one item vanishes because of the time limit, after five minutes you know they disappear, the next dispenser is going to shoot a block out. So I'm going to skip nighttime because building at night and especially filming at night, people that film at night with no light sources or anything are just... Ah, oh, come on, it's nighttime. It's close enough. By the way, this light stone thing here is not meant to be like an upside down cross. It's an arrow pointing to the spawn that I built. There we go. Okay. We're back. Um, what I want to do is label these guys out here for you. Or we can just try to remember. But, yeah, I mean, they're hooked up properly. But let's go ahead and put signs out just for our own sanity. Alright, so this guy we determined was 12 o'clock. So, this one here goes up to the top left. So that's going to be 9 o'clock, I think. Then that would make this guy 6, and this guy 3. Okay? So, now is the fun part depending on who you ask. If you ask me, I don't think it's that fun. We're going to wire all these uh, dispensers together. So the first one, the first time we ever do it, we're going to have to actually use a lever to trigger it. Hear it clicking. And uh, so, <coughs> but the other way we can hook this one up is we're going to wire it to the last one. We'll do this one first because it's actually like really simple to do. So basically when, uh, oops, when our 12 o'clock or sorry, when our yeah 12 o'clock expires, we want it to loop back around to 3 o'clock. So if we put something on here, you can see it doesn't quite reach. However, we need this to be inverted because um, we want the opposite of the signal so that when it goes from uh, off to on, it triggers it. So let's simulate here. Let's put something in our dispenser, and it doesn't matter what you put in these. And we're just looking for it to fire. We don't want it to land on the plate just yet because we have to put some glass in front of it so we can see it. So the redstone disappears because it's been five minutes and the three o'clock one pew pews out, thus proving exactly what we were hoping for. So this part is a bit of a pain. Um, I can't say it's my favorite part of the whole thing, but we have to dig down a couple blocks under all these in order to uh, do the underground wiring stuff. And what you have to do is put, um, how can I get out of here? Okay, so you have to put a uh, torch, actually two torches underneath each dispenser block uh, because of some really annoying wiring that we have to do that I'm not a huge fan of. If you couldn't already tell by how much I'm not looking forward to doing it. This part um, on the last video, I had to go back and kind of like reinvent how I did this. And it was kind of embarrassing since, you know, I came up with it and everything. So we have um, our one block here, so we'll put one more inverter underneath each one. Or sorry, one more redstone torch underneath each one as an, to act as an inverter. Ha. Okay, so that's all of them. And then these we connect to the lines above ground, if that makes sense. And it will in a second once you see exactly what I'm talking about. So this first one we don't need to put a torch under because um, it has the above ground line. So, we'll come out here, and we have to drop this down one, just to make sure it doesn't interfere with the other lines. And I don't do this ahead of time because um, I kind of make it up every time I do it. I do it slightly differently. So we're going to run this to this torch down here. So we have to drop this down far enough, and then um, so the redstone can travel downwards like this. Sorry if this isn't super clear, but I think if you've been watching my videos for long enough, you should have an idea of some of these concepts anyway. So we'll just take it like this, and then that torch turns off. So let's go test it. Oh, mm, 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 forget, on the server I have the ability to just like jump up whenever I feel like it. There we go. So let's. here's our situation. Um, we have something on this one. And we're going to go put something in here. Put obsidian in here. 
So we collect, or this item disappears, let's simulate that by collecting it, and the next item shoots out. So that's exactly what we want. Perfect. So we'll do the same on um, two more, one from here to here, one from here to here, and then the whole system's done. So remember we drop this down so it doesn't interfere. And then we invert it, because if you don't, you will have um, all the dispensers will shoot off at the same time, which is not what we want, is it? It's not. Spoiler alert. So let's wire this up. Same thing again. Just uh, take it down one. Sorry, we go down one, down two, over one, down one, down one, two, I guess. I raised this one up so these don't interfere. Um, and we can take out the rest of this because we know it kind of has to go there. Okay. So let's go back up top. There we go. Okay. So this one is our last one. And we're going to put it um, somewhere intelligent. I would suggest here. Um, actually, I don't suggest that after all. I changed my mind. My suggestion is for here. Right? Yeah, good. Does not interfere. Oops. So the red storm will actually travel straight down if you need it to, which is kind of cool. So this we want to prevent right here. We don't want these to interfere. So we're going to run this sideways. And don't be a plate. OK, good. Then just down like that. Sweet. So let's test the whole thing. Um, throw something in every dispenser. And you want to um, block off the front of these and the sides of these with glass uh, so you can actually see it. That's why I use glass. You can use anything. I uh, don't have any glass with me, so I'm only going to block off the front and hope that it lands in there. But you saw on the server I have the whole thing blocked off with glass. Uh, like this. Okay. So the f you only have to use the lever right here to trigger the first time or any time it runs out and you have to reset it. Oops, I shot two. So um, we wait five minutes and it expires. Next one shoots out. Oh, it fell off. <laughs> that sucks. Alright, hold on. That's why you surround it with glass, by the way. So, oop, come on. Alright, I'm really horrible at this. I found out in the last video. I can't shoot onto a plate to save my life. So we'll just destroy this. Okay, so we shoot onto the plate. Five minutes goes by. Pew, pew. Next one shoots onto the plate. Wow, lag. That's cool. Um, so five minutes goes by, and we pick it up. And then the next one shoots onto the plate. And I can't show you, because I'm in single player, what that would look like exactly uh, on the clock. But we showed it in the last video, that the time just goes around. And so let me let the lag balance out here. What the hell is going on? Okay, so basically, um, in order to expand this to a fully sized uh, and fully functional clock, you would put three times as many of these, so 12 total, one for each position on the clock every five minute interval, and then your thing will go up an hour. So I'm going to cut and go to the server and show you where I've done exactly that. Alright guys, we're on infrared server here, and let me show you the front of this behemoth first before I show you the back. So here's our clock face. It's got 12 positions. It looks like my materials finally ran out. But I haven't built the hands yet because it's a great big pain if you think about trying to run one here and here and here and here. But we'll go around the back and I'll show you the wiring. So same principle. You just run up these stair steps into the back of the clock at each position. And it's a lot easier to run them um, with a big one like this. This is an 11 by 11 circle that I put the faces on, or the positions on. And then you see we got our 12 plates here. It's the exact same thing as before. They're labeled with hours and minutes. 12 hours equals zero minutes. One hour is five minutes on the clock. We're talking about two hours is also the 10 minute position, and then it loops around at the end. And um, it's pretty simple except for the underground part. This part really sucks. Connecting all these was a giant pain in the butt. I'm not going to give a full tutorial on it. 
you can figure it out. If you can do the first one, you can do this one. It's just you get to go through my uh, imaginative inventing process. And oh, see, this is what it should look like once you have the glass implemented. You just surround the whole thing in glass so nothing can fall in, nothing can fall out. And yeah, this thing will work. You just hook it up to a counter if you want to keep track of the hours. Every time it hits the 12, you would do increment the counter by one, and then you could have this lit up and whatever minute it is lit up. And then every time it hits the 12, you can hook it up to a note block song so it plays a chime. Or you can have it do any kind of redstone circuit, anything cool that you want to do, like have your stores on your server close at a certain time at night, or have um, have it detect, you know, if you can get this timing right, you can get it, oops, with the day and night cycle. It turns out it's like 12 hour, or twelve seconds, 8 minutes, or sorry, 12 minutes, 8 seconds. Somebody told me that. I was wrong by thinking that 10 minutes was close enough to day-night cycle. Well, sorry, guys. Put in some delay repeater blocks, and then you're good. But uh, I think this horrible lag is a sign that I should cut the video off here. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, let's see. My little brother is going to start doing videos soon, so I'm going to give you his channel in the description once he gives me his new YouTube name. And he's pretty awesome. He's smart. I don't usually do, like, too many individual shoutouts, but you should definitely... Uh, check him out um, and keep your submissions coming for the server just keep in mind it's infrared server not my server please don't call it Steven server because it isn't and if you call it that he probably won't let you in because it's kind of rude I mean he pays for it you know what I mean he does all the administration I just kind of like help out so please 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 stop calling it my server it's not I don't have one I might someday but honestly he does a way better job than I ever could and I am proud to just be able to play on here. So you guys should thank him profusely for doing what he does. Show him some appreciation. Definitely subscribe to Infrared. His YouTube account is youtube.com slash infrazoom. And yeah. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll put my single player save in the description so you guys have access to that. Have a good night.